Let's now shift our attention to the other big story that we are tracking on Beyond, where nearly after three years after having spent behind bars, prominent women's rights activist Lujan Al-Hatlul has now been released from a prison in Saudi Arabia. She was sentenced to nearly about six years in prison on counter-terrorism charges. She was convicted on charges including seeking to change the Saudi's political system and also harming national unity. The court suspended two years and ten months of her sentence, most of which had already been served. But she still faces a five-year travel ban that's now been ordered by the court. The 31-year-old's arrest had drawn international criticism back in 2018, showcasing Saudi Arabia's worsening human rights record. And the same year, Saudi Arabia had also come under global scrutiny after the murder of the prominent Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Now, the free journalist's sister has said that it is time that Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's real image is brought to light to the rest of the world. MBS as a reformer, I think we could uh, believe it at the beginning because we didn't really know who he, uh, who, who he was. Uh, but now that it's been years um, that he's been um, uh, doing crime after crime um, without even, you know, being, um, without no, anyone uh, putting pressure on him to, to stop this, I think... Um, it's only about his image, you know, uh, everything he's doing is for his image and to be legitimate, um, to be the one uh, the, the West chooses, basically. And also what is interesting is the timing of the release is uncanny. The Saudi court's decision to suspend Hatlul's sentence comes just 20 days, 22 days after Joe Biden has taken charge at the White House. Remember, Joe Biden has time and again raised the importance of human rights in his run up to the presidency. It also said that his administration will not hold a dialogue with dictators. He even had labelled Saudi Arabia to be a bit of a pariah state. But the question, of course, is, is the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman listening? And is this a release of this activist who was one of the key individuals responsible to get the right for women to drive in Saudi Arabia? Is her release a part of MBS's rethink on his own policies? Saudi Arabia's uh, uh, situation is tightly connected to what's going on in the uh, U.S. So, um, I mean, it is a fact that Lujain was in prison during uh, the previous administration and it was really hard to, to get anything. And it is a fact that she was released few days, few weeks after Biden's arrival to power. So, um, and I, uh, I have to say, yes, uh, without international pressure, we cannot obtain something. The Lujian Hatlul, remember, had campaigned for women's rights to drive and also to end Saudi Arabia's controversial male guardianship system. Now, Hatlul was detained along with several other prominent women's rights activists in Saudi Arabia. Her family claims that while being imprisoned, she had been subjected to abuse from electric shocks, waterboarding, flogging to even sexual assault. Saudi authorities, for their part, have denied these accusations.